Salut survivors! Do you always find yourself hungry in 7 days to die? In this video, I will describe the best food in the game and provide tips to never go hungry again. The game, in relation to its food aspects, can be divided into periods which follow the progression of cooking skill or master chef. Early on, you can only eat basic foods or canned goods. Then, you will progressively learn how to cook dishes that feed your hunger better and better, while also providing max stamina temporary buff from plus 10 to plus 40. So, let's get started, survivors! As mentioned, the game is divided into periods for different uh, food buffs levels. You can see in Master Chef skill. You start as a bachelor, level 1, that's when you learn how to cook foods that give plus 10 uh, max uh, stamina buff. Grandma will provide plus 20 max stamina buff. Short order cook, plus 30 max stamina buff. And army cook, plus 40 stamina buff, finally. Lastly, Master Chef is for other type of foods that is not feeding your hunger, such as uh, Grandpa's Autumn Sauce and other Grandpa's recipe. I will uh, uh, very, very briefly touch this, but we'll focus on the plus 10, plus 20, plus 30, and plus 40 uh, food buff. Now, in our game here, we have cooked every single food in the game in order to be able to compare them. In this line, here are the plus 10 max stamina buff in the bachelor skill. It goes from bacon and eggs with uh, the best one, uh, with a plus 36 food to your hunger bar, here in green at the bottom, followed by the boiled meat, plus 10, which provide also 15 health, compared to bacon and egg, 18 health. The grilled meat, boiled egg, charred meat, corn on the cob, cornbread, baked potatoes are all a uh, very low amount of hunger feeding. Therefore the two best foods in the early plus 10 max foods are the bacon and eggs and the boiled meat. Now bacon and eggs cost a lot of eggs. Every single bacon and egg costs two eggs. So. If you plan on feeding yourself on bacon and eggs, you are going to need a lot of eggs. The boiled meat uh, is less effective than the uh, bacon and egg, uh, providing 10 food only for 5 raw meat, uh, but still gives a, a very decent health buff. So early on, you would have bacon and eggs and boiled meat as a way to uh, feed yourself. Aside from the canned goods, of course. Now, a couple of tips uh, would be uh, that whatever you eat, you should use a red tea. Red tea. Here is a red tea. The red tea provides efficient digestion of plus 15%. There is another drink that also provides that. It's uh, pure mineral water. Efficient digestion plus 15%. This one you can only do deep. The red tea, you can produce it yourself. Red tea is very important. During that first uh, period in the game, there are a couple of important things to do. You are going to loot um, corn, potatoes, do not cook them. If ever you end up cooking a corn on the cob or a cornbread or a baked potato, it is, in my opinion, a mistake. You should keep on these potatoes and corns in order to make seeds from them in order to set up a farm as soon as possible. Now, you should not hesitate to set up a farm because you can shovel the farm plots later on. So, if you have a small outpost somewhere and you want to get started to produce your farm, go ahead, you will shovel the farms later. In order to start your farm, you will need rotting flesh. Tons of rotting flesh. Therefore, um, Harvesting rotting flesh everywhere you can, in uh, funeral homes, uh, uh, infirmaries, uh, hospitals, uh, dogs, uh, vultures, uh, carcasses along the road. Harvest rotting flesh. That is critical in uh, setting up your farm at the beginning. That's what's missing. The farm plot. 
Farm plot, wood, nitric powder, clay, all this is piece of cake. Rotting flesh. Rotting flesh is key. So if you are going to want at the beginning, say, uh, 20 farm plots uh, or 10 to 20, you are going to need 100 to 200 rotting flesh. So it, it's doable, but you need to keep storing it. Don't throw it away like a common mistake that it is. I would say there is something else important, I think, as early as possible in the game you should get living of the land level 1. The living of the land level 1 permits that during your excavation, uh, excursion trips, uh, sorry, you can harvest two potatoes or two cones instead of one. Yeah. Harvest two items from wild or planted crops, that is very important. So say you're going in another uh, uh, city or hamlet uh, from a mission from your trader, then just uh, take this right before. Therefore, you will have twice more corn and potatoes that you will harvest. It also works for blueberries, of course, and yucca, etc. But corn and potato is what you want for the next step. So during that time, uh, bacon and eggs and boiled meat might not be enough to feed yourself. Uh, you will most likely eat a lot of canned goods. In order to get canned goods, you can buy them at vending machines. That's the uh, most uh, cost-effective way to early on to purchase cans. Uh, another way is to get trader missions to dig, a, to dig out supplies. Uh, when you dig out supplies, the advantage of that type of mission is that it's uh, fast to do. Uh, you obtain clay, and uh, obtaining clay is necessary anyway for your hot base day 7, most likely. And you also have the head drop of day 4 and day 7. Um, another advantage of that uh, trader mission to dig out supplies, you typically go out in the nature, you find animals, and obviously to eat bacon and egg and to eat boiled meat, you need to hunt animals. So hunt animals during your travels, skin them with a proper knife as soon as you can and not with an axe, get plenty of meat, get plenty of eggs and eat bacon and eggs, boiled meat and cans. Do not eat your corn and potatoes. After this first phase, you are going to be in the uh, plus 20 max stamina buff. During that phase, you have all this food here. Meat stew, that's the best, with a plus 50 food. That's when you start to really be able to eat well. Or oh, feed your stomach properly and never go hungry again. However, to prepare this meat stew, you will need a lot of corn and a lot of potato. It's probably not recommended to uh, cook a meat stew too early either because the first potatoes and the first corn you will harvest should be converted into seeds so that you can expand your farm as soon as possible. Among the other foods, here you have the meat stew, steak and potato meal. This one is similar ingredient as the meat stew except you need to replace the corn by mushrooms and mushrooms are much more complicated to obtain than uh, corn, so steak and potato is uh, uh, less uh, easy and less recommended to cook early on. After that you have all the pies, the pumpkin pie, blueberry pie and the pumpkin bread. They are great, uh, I mean except the pumpkin bread, but they are very good except that they use eggs, they use pumpkin, they use blueberries, so early on if you have a blueberry or you have a pumpkin you're probably going to want to make it into seeds. One and two, it will cost you eggs and you probably ate most of your eggs at that point in time with the bacon and egg. Lastly, uh, there is a veg veggie stew, vegetable stew. This one is fantastic in the sense that you can be 100% self-sustainable with the vegetable soup. However, you will not be able to do this early in the game. You will need potatoes and corn, same as the meats do, but you will also need mushrooms. And early in the game, you will likely not produce a lot of mushrooms. So if you need to eat, uh, say, three to four veggies two per day, you can relatively fast produce enough corn and potato for that purpose, but the mushrooms are going to be a problem. On the long run, however, to produce dozens of veggies stews without having to get out of your base or without having to hunt animals, or it's, it's, it's a very, very good one on the long run. We have also the pumpkin cheesecake. Pumpkin cheesecake is also in the category of the plus 20 max stamina bonus. However, uh, I recommend using it when you are going to buy stuff from the trader. So probably before a whole night, 
Uh, you are going to buy meds, buy ammo, buy uh, weaponry, buy armor, or some tools. If you got unlucky and you were not able to get some good tools, uh, then the pumpkin pie is relatively fantastic uh, uh, for bartering. I made another video last week on the bartering. I'll provide the link below. Um, so, general uh, re advice, do not uh, rapidly uh, do the meat stew with your first bow, your first corn, your first potatoes, expand your farm first. Once you start to have a steady supply of corn and potato, then you can consider uh, moving on to the meat stew. Next is our plus 30 max uh, stand bonus. When you reach a point, you start to have some very good food. Uh, I would say that's the most uh, uh, critical one in uh, in the in the progress of the era. The, the last one is is, is a kind of a, a cool looking feature, but here you get you get the really good ones. So the cha the sham chowder is one of the best foods in the game. That is actually the food that provides you the most health, 80 health. And in addition, it's lasting 10 minutes instead of 7 minutes. And you get a plus one fortitude. For a whole night, that food is fantastic. I mean, during a whole night, you will most likely need to heal at some point in time. Of course, you have first aid kit, first aid bandages, painkillers. But look, to get 80 health from a sham chowder, uh, that's, that's just brilliant. Uh, then you have the hobo stew. The hobo stew is the same ingredient as a meat stew, except you use rotting flesh instead of raw meat. Uh, once you have set up your farm, you have nothing else to do from rotting flesh except uh, uh, using it for a hobo stew. Hobo stew, see for us, hobo stew, bam, 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 I mean, all our rotting flesh is becoming hobo stew. Hobo stew, you are hungry, eat a hobo stew. And the, 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 the statistics of the hobo stew is of the same figure as the, the meat stew. And of course, a bit better because it's plus 30 compared to plus 20. And uh, what's for me uh, the, the best uh, food uh, that I uh, eat a lot and cook a lot is the fish tacos. The advantage of the fish tacos, it's not using animal fat, it's not using meat, it's just simply some corn and uh, a can of salmon. So the can of salmon is uh, relatively easy to get. You just need to plan ahead to not consume it too much. The sham chowder is using the can of sham and the chili dog is using a can of uh, a chili. So when you are during the uh, plus 10 and plus 20 era and you're eating cans, try not to eat the can of chili, not to eat the can of salmon and not to eat the can of sham. These three cans will be very useful in the plus 30 era or period. Generally speaking, another uh, aspect in this uh, plus 30 era is that you will need a lot of corn. Basically, every recipe or almost every recipe needs corn. Chili dog needs corn, uh, hobo stew needs corn, and fish tacos needs corn. So they, they, they all need corn, uh, more or less. Um, sham chowder also needs corn. Um, during that period, again, you need to keep the good cans. So it's recommended to eat the bad cans. So what are the bad cans or the useless cans? It's this here. You have the chicken ration, miso soup, or can of miso, uh, chicken soup, can of peers, and can of cat food. That are the five cans in the game that are not used for any single recipe. Uh, a quick way to see that, if you see, for instance, a chicken ration here, you cannot use it for any recipe. And same for any of this. Recipe, recipe. They cannot be used for any cooking purpose. While if you look at the other cans, say so take this here, chili recipe, can of salmon recipe, tuna recipe, peas, sham, stock, can of pasta. So again, in the pasta era, the important ones are chili, salmon, and sham. These three are the ones for the plus 30, are the key moment in the game where you start to become uh, completely uh, food sufficient, typically. I think here we have covered the most important uh, on how not to go hungry. Uh, you of course have, once you reach the plus 40 uh, max time bonus, these four, uh, what they call uh, superfood of alpha 19. 
the best one being the spaghettis with a food of 122, gumbo stew 112, uh, shepherd's pie 104, and finally the tuna fish gravy toast uh, with 90. Uh, honestly, you don't really need these foods uh, for the simple reason that you go hungry like I am now as soon as you are below 50 hunger. But meat stew or steak and potato meal and all of these foods here under the plus 30 already provide you with a plus 30. So say for example I'm what 45, 40, 45 hunger, I can just eat a chili dog. Right? Boom. I'll eat a chili dog here now and my green bar will slowly go above. Therefore, these uh, spaghetti or gumbo stew or chip pot pie are not very important unless you are like, completely starving. Oh yeah, if you are completely starving, it's great, but uh, when are you going to be starving in the late game? Uh, so these foods and the plus 40, it's a bit secondary to my, uh, to my opinion. What is really important is for you to maneuver your way to have a farm up and running as soon as possible. One last point is what are the cans the most important? Uh, we have already gone through the three cans of the plus 30 era, right? The chili, the salmon and the sham. That are the three important ones and probably the three most important cans in the entire game. To try not to eat and store in for later. The chili, salmon and sham. Now the next, uh, in my opinion, the next most important one is when you reach to the 40, the peas. The peas is used for almost all recipes in the end game. Gumbo stew, chef art pie, tuna fish gravy toast. So the peas, if you want to do some of the plus 40 end game food and it will come at that point here, you will need peas. Peas and beef, peas and lamb, peas and tuna. Uh, it's peas, peas, peas. So if you have no peas, <laughs> you won't cook this end game food. Um, but that, that, that's secondary compared to the chili, salmon and sham for this uh, sham chowder, fish tacos, and chili dough. Um, okay, thank you very much uh, survivors. Uh, I hope you uh, liked this uh, video um, which focused mostly on food and hunger topics. I am considering the following topics for my next video, either uh, focus on the drinks and optimizing the drinks, uh, or maybe meds and uh, sicknesses or perk books. Um, please let me know in the comments below which topics interest you the most. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on any new videos. Have a good day survivors and bon appetit. Cheers.